While without a doubt, Lake Winnipeg gets the most publicity for walleye fishing in Manitoba, there's a sleeper, there's an up and comer. Just to the west is Lake Manitoba. Just one hour from Winnipeg lays Manitoba's third biggest lake. Spanning over 4,600 square kilometers, Lake Manitoba is an ocean. While the lake has had some ups and downs over the years, it's definitely on the up right now. After hearing so many walleye reports from local fishermen, I decided it was time to investigate it for myself. So we decided to split our trip into two portions, the South Basin and the North Basin. This was our trip to the South. Look at this guy with the lawn chair all ready to go. <laughs> we got Keevan, we got Marcel. Guys, Lake Manitoba is a very interesting lake. It, uh, it's had many ups and downs over the years and I never hit it on its ups. I was a little too young, not into ice fishing at the time. And now it's on its way back up. And this is no secret spot. There there's aren't secret spots on Lake Manitoba. These fish are roaming pretty much any access spot. It's a good fishing spot. We walked out about 75 yards. Not too far. Ice is kind of interesting. It's kind of like the surface of Mars right now. But uh, there is lots of ice. There's a truck out there. There's commercial fishermen out there. And we're just like, we're just touching the tiniest bit of this lake. This is my first time ice fishing it. This is Marcel's first time ice fishing it. This is not Keevan's first time. Keevan is from the Inner Lake and he's frequented this area for many, many years. For now, we're just gonna split up and jig. How's the bite over there, boys? How deep are you? It's nice being out here, boys. Love this lake. I know you guys want to stay there, but I think we should move deeper. A lot of boats out here. Yeah. We found this nice clear spot here. You know what that means. Big sun fish. Can get through in the water. Sun, yeah, there's probably a big weed bed there. Lots of sun coming through. Working on that photosynthesis. No, we're just bouncing around. There's no rhyme or reason. It's, it's about finding those roaming fish, finding the pods. They're moving around. There's been lots of studies done on Lake Winnipeg. I'm not sure if there's been as many done on Lake Manitoba, but Lake Winnipeg, the fish circle. They go from the North Basin to the South Basin and they move a lot. So as anglers, you gotta move yourself and uh, find these active fish. Could be a time of day, could be a certain depth, but uh, I think we're gonna set up a little deeper here. And, and, and by deeper here, we mean like seven, eight, 10 feet of water. Like deep, deep on this lake is what, 15 feet? You can't even find 15, yeah. So we've been doing our fishing in like four to four to five feet this morning. Now we're pushing out to six feet, but uh, yeah, hopefully some activity turns on. Oh, he's on. Marcel's on. Take your time, what do you got? It's a walleye. Nice. Sun's getting lower. He crushed it. We had to work for our first bite. Like it is gone. First Show walleye, we he crushed. Like I marked him for a split second and he just charged up and destroyed look that little How tall and perky that fish is. Just unreal. That's how you want every walleye to look. Are we keeping fish today? Uh, I don't know. This Are guy we? can go back. It's pretty late in the day. First Lake Manitoba walleye. On the uh, medium dinner bell there, pink and silver, was I would tell untipped? you it wasn't tipped, no. Nice, no. aggressive. Bare naked. All right, still got hope. We're, we're gonna fish into the dark. We're, we're staying pretty close by here at MTT. It's like a minute drive from where we're at, so we can fish into the dark. Oh, he's on again. Marcel's on again. Where's the camera? Marcel's on. Marcel's on, the sun just set. Fish are moving in. Come on. Oh boy. What do we have Number here? Two. Another walleye. Come on, baby. You've been the Come shallow on, baby. Water. Come on, baby. It's not that small. A little bigger than the other one. Nice. There we go. Sun's going down behind me, and we got this big perky uh, walleye here. Nice. Average size okay. is pretty good. Yeah, it's even bigger than the other one. She's one's going back. There she goes. All right. We got two. Oh, look at that sunset. Slide in there, Marcel. Yes. <laughs> I was just getting this dead, dead stick to the bottom and he hit it. It just dropped it down. Man, all about prime time. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Nice he doesn't want to perform like Marcel's, but no. good shoulders. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Stunner. Stunner. See y'all later. Marcel working on his Instagram game. Keevan. Is that a boomerang, Marcel? <laughs> another mark, another mark. 
Take your time. Whatever you do, take your time. He's here. He's here. There's no time. Oh, Another one. Dark. Man. Just I need to switch to whatever you're doing. Choked it. Number three for me. Number zero for Jay. <laughs> Come on, baby. They're there like, we go. It almost looks just goofy amazing. how tall they are. Oh, they're just such beautiful. Look at the fish, shoulders. <laughs> Look at the shoulders. <laughs> nice. Okay, this guy's going right back. All kidding aside though, they are pretty healthy there she fish. Goes. Shallow water is pretty cool. Doesn't give you a super long fight always, but it's a it's an angry fight. Ten feet of water, eight feet of water. I'm gonna switch to a jig and spoon because I have not caught a fish yet. And we're gonna continue to watch the Marcel show. I'm just expecting him to catch another one. Come on, baby. A little bit of color left in the sky. Come on, just eat it. Like just eat it. Just like that. Just like that. Ooh. Chunky monkey. Chunky monkey. Marcel has the hot hand tonight. Dinner bell comes right out. You're not even tipping the jigs. That's Look the crazy at that. part. Just such a gorgeous fish. How gorgeous? So gorgeous. Okay. Oh I'm not my ashamed. goodness. I'm drilling a hole beside you. Come on, join the party. I will join the party. I'm looking forward to poutine. Oh, oh man. Extra bologna, please. <laughs> Oh, I'm marking, I'm marking, here we go. This is it. Come on. Yes, finally. We got us a walleye. Oh, oh, everything's spinning. Yep. I can see it under this clear ice. We got a nice walleye, man. These are nice. Man, it took a while to get my first fish. Marcel showed me how it was done. Had to move into his area, use exactly what he was using. And then it finally happened. All right, well, I thought the bite was done, but it seems like it's still going, so. We'll put this guy back. There she goes. So something I've noticed is these fish are so aggressive. I've only had two marks, both of them hit me, and that one just, just full commitment. We're not even using bait on the jigging spoons. Like, that just shows you how hungry these fish are. These fish, they don't see a lot of angling pressure. And it's a massive lake. I don't even, I could, how many walleyes do you think are in this lake? Even like a couple hundred maybe? I, I heard a story that there was 500 of them. 500. I think I'm marking again. I think I'm marking again. This is gonna be good. Oh, is my dead stick bobbing or am I imagining things? I'm definitely marking. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I think he's on the dead stick. Yes. Look at that, a couple of walleyes just moved in. Decided to stay a little bit later into the dark. Ooh, 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 it's moving some water. Man, I love when you can see through the ice. It's a good fish. Look at that, on, just a jig and a minnow, dead sticked. Ooh, starting into a skating rink here. I'm pretty sure there's another fish right now. Guys, look at this, look at that dorsal. But I'm serious, on this other rod, I think there's another fish. Can you jig this one, Keevan? I'm about to catch one, I'm about to catch one. Just jig it on the spot. Oh, get reel, reel it in, reel it in! <laughs> yes! This is ridiculous! Yeah! Oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's get a double header shot, Keevan. This is amazing. All right, look at that. Three fish in 30 seconds. Lake Manitoba, baby, it is happening. All right, we're not keeping fish. Maybe tomorrow we'll keep a couple. Tonight they're going back. Keevan promised me poutine with the MTT. Best poutine around. <laughs> What's your favorite type of poutine? I, for one, like the bologna poutine, the MTT special. Just kidding, no, this, the MTT poutines are the best around. That's, that's a fact. What does MTT stand for? Meals taste terrific, and that's <laughs> not a lie. <laughs> Are you endorsed by them? I am not endorsed by them, but if they're looking for pro staff, I can be the poutine eater. <laughs> poutine tester? Yeah. Oh, that's a mark. Oh, we're marking. We're marking. Oh, we just destroyed the dead stick. Are you on him? Yeah. Do you have light? Oh, I just tripped over the auger. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just tripped. Oh, oh. Are you okay? 
Is everything okay? I just tripped over the auger to come film this Look fish. at the shoulders on this beautiful wow, walleye. Wow, look at the colors. That's a, that's a... We haven't caught any small ones yet. All kidding aside. That's actually a thick fish. How many C's? Uh, four C's. Four C's. No K's. Four C's, no K's. Nice Manitoba. I'm gonna take a picture of that guy. Tomorrow, this is gonna be lunch because we have a special guest coming out, but tonight, it goes back. Later. All right, well, what time is it? Six? It is six o'clock, but it feels like it's midnight. It's been dark for two hours. But we're still catching, so we ain't going nowhere. Oh! Did not mark that fish. Did not mark that fish at all. That, that fish came in so hot. We will play back the flasher footage. Man, that's one of the nicer fish of the day. No bait on the jigging spoon, which is just ridiculous. Normally you tip that with a little bit of minnow, but we're gonna keep going into the dark. Sweet. Just when you think it's done, another one comes in and just kills it. Oh, there he is. He's coming to eat it. Got him. Thank goodness. Yeah. Well, I told the guys, I said, if we didn't see a fish in 10 minutes, we were calling it a night, but we saw another fish. And uh, yeah, probably like three hours into the dark we've been fishing now, and the fish are still biting. That's something you never really know until you spend the time. We're very blessed with amazing weather right now, so we're able to stay a couple hours later. If it was cold, we would definitely be off the ice, but it's, yeah, it's not, our line isn't freezing, there's no wind, so we're taking advantage of this. And Lake Manitoba is also known for a lot of burbot, which, we may tap into, yeah, we'll see how much longer we stay. Oh, nice mark, nice mark, coming up, coming up. Oh, oh, I just missed him. Oh, he slammed it so hard. Come on, give me another chance. I didn't sting him. So either he's gonna hit the dead stick or he's gonna come eat this again. Oh yeah, he's back, he's back, he's back. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. guys, I don't know, we might be staying here all night. Everyone's a little football. If you are looking for action, close to Winnipeg, walking access, you don't need a snowmobile. You don't need, you don't even need a truck. You don't have to drive out here. We walked out a couple hundred yards, you know? You could fish even closer shore if you want. I'm like, so easy. It's just easy. You don't even need bait, apparently. It's just nice to be out here. Nice colors on those fish. Okay guys, we're packing up. Uh, I was impressed. First time ice fishing Lake Manitoba for Marcel and I. Uh, it, it took a little bit to get into the fish, but uh, probably eight nice walleye. We got a full day tomorrow. We're probably gonna start kind of where we ended today. Uh, but first we're headed for some fine dining in St. Laurent. And uh, yeah, we got a little bit of a hike back. <laughs> Is this what you've been thinking about all day, Kevin? The food team? Yes. 100%. What's up, my man? How much yourself? Just waiting for some poutine. The saloon doors. This is good. <laughs> what type of poutine are you thinking? Bacon. Uh, could I do the chicken finger dinner with bacon poutine, please? Did you make the bed? Good job. This is great. All right, guys, awesome accommodations, but now we're off to the lake. It is day two. Yeah, we ended things on a pretty high note last night. And we're gonna go back to where it was happening and see if uh, see if there's still a couple of wallies hanging around. While a snowmobile or ATV probably would have been ideal for exploring the South Basin on this trip, we decided to stick to foot travel. And that's the beauty of Lake Manitoba is there are so many accessible spots along the South Shore from Delta Beach all the way up to Twin Lakes Beach where we focused on any spot you're able to walk out 50, 100 yards, you can get into a hot walleye bite. Back out here. Guys, the holes didn't even freeze from last night. That's how warm it got. We, we got lucky when we plowed our trip on this warm spell. But I'm gonna show you guys rods and reels we're using. This was the killer yesterday. This was it. This is the dinner bell, which you've heard lots about. This is the, uh, I think this is the second biggest size. And the part that just blew me away is that we didn't even have to use bait. They were just biting the plain spoon. And this lure has that cool little piece of metal that dingles dangles on the inside and that adds a little bit of noise a little bit of flash so with a dinner bell with jigging spoons rattle baits i like this rod this is the 38 medium it's called the true grit in the frostbite series and it's just it's it's a good all around walleye rod greenback rod uh it'd be maybe a little on the lighter side for lake trout but 
it's it's the second biggest rod in their lineup and it's it's perfect for what we're doing here. Eight pound braid. This is a 12 pound floral leader. Second rod I'm using, you've heard me talk about it before, it's the dipstick, it's a 39 light. Just the perfect dead stick rod, super soft tip. Using just a small lead jig with a salted minnow. Hopefully the fish are where we left them. We'll see if it was a prime time bite or if it was just a better area we got into, but we're about nine feet of water. Boys and I are gonna spread out and uh, start fishing. Walking has to be one of the, like, the worst activities. Special what? guest. It's Josh so McFadden, cool. say hi. Hey guys, that's a big toboggan. It is. Yeah. We made it out here. I love it. Welcome to Lake Manitoba. Exactly. Oh, there's a fish looking at me. Fish looking at me. Oh, yeah, 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 he's gonna eat Big Mark. Big Mark. Come on. He's gonna eat it right now. Yeah, you're good luck, Josh. Nice walleye, first of the day. We got Josh, who's gonna land and prepare this fish for us. Land it on camera? Yes. Gotta get in here. There it is. Oh! Nice, that's the, that's a perfect eater. The new uh, whip, secret whippersnapper. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yes! Woo! Number one, look at that chunky guy. That's gonna feed, it's gonna feed Josh and myself. I don't know about the rest of the guys. No, don't forget those guys. Hey. All right, we got number one. Josh, this is a gift to you. What are we doing with the fish? You have a stringer, you said? Yeah, so typically, like, I like to keep them really fresh because we throw them on the ice and then they get frozen up and they, they're a little harder to fillet. So... You're not joking about the stringer. I'm honestly not joking. <laughs> like, I never do this, but I did it last week or the other day and it worked amazing. So I've got this hole stopper thing and I'm doing it. And I've got this old school <laughs> stringer from my grandpa. This has been in the family since the uh, early 1800s. Got some history. You can see that rust on there, that natural patina. And we'll keep them fresh until we... Yeah, now they're just so much easier to cut up. Amazing. Boom. And if you're lucky, a big pike will come along. And... <laughs> That's good. That's great. The shack's there. The Real, nice, yeah, it was great. 80 bucks for the three of us? That's pretty good. Like... <laughs> Two beds, yeah. I slept with Marcel, it was nice. Is he still on you? You're about to catch him? Oh, I'm marking one too. I'm marking one. And I was the one who had a mark on my screen. Oh, I got a fish on my dead stick. Oh! Things are happening. Big things are happening. Oh, oh, he just ate it. Yes. Yep. That dead stick. Ooh, that's a nicer fish. Ooh, that's a good one. That might be our biggest one yet. Nice. That's probably our biggest one yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's just such a fat fish. This guy, chunky. we got a release. He's he, he's a little too big. We're looking for a little smaller Those fish. nice loins though. <laughs> we could take the back straps. Oh yeah, nice back straps. Guys, we got Josh along today. And he's gonna, what are you cooking for us? You know what? It's gonna be a little nod to something that we experienced, uh, Marcel and myself actually, in the northern region. Of Manitoba, Ooh. and uh, I'm adding a little bit more flair to it, but I don't think we got any footage of that, so I think we're gonna do that today. It's something that everybody can make at home. Wait, it's a simple. surprise. I just it's a total surprise. What is it? Oh, it's a it's like a wonton, <laughs> like a walleye wonton popper with jalapeno and some bacon and. There's a lot of buildup. I, I just... see Keevan just like smiling. Yeah, sorry. It's uh, <laughs> I thought we were gonna like get into that part later. Josh, Josh is, is an angler, angler as well. He's not just a cook. Yeah, but I came out here to cook. While there may have been some lulls in the action, when the fish moved in, they were aggressive. Pods of two to four fish in shallow water, absolutely crushing our jigs. Every fish coming out of the hole with that perfect perky dorsal, nice plump fish. It was a blast. Josh, you reeled that one in before I could come with the camera. Yeah, it was uh, really quick. How many do we need for this dish? Dude, we only need like two fish and we have three. Oh, there we go. So we're cooking right away. Perfect. As soon as I catch like six more. Once we'll just we're done go. setting the hook. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this guy on my stringer thing that we talked about earlier. Here. <laughs> Keep the fish fresh. All right, so what we have going on right here is 
This is the start to the wonton wrapper poppers, walleye poppers. So what I have going on here is I've just got some oil heating up and I've got a pan. So this pan is getting our maple flavored bacon. Hopefully there's real maple in there. And uh, once that bacon's cooked up, we're taking these wonton wrappers. These are super cheap and available at any grocery store. So we're gonna take off the sheets and we're gonna fill that with cream cheese, bacon, a good chunk of walleye and a massive chunk of jalapeno as well. And that'll get wrapped up, thrown in the hot oil. Those wontons are gonna crisp up and puff up and get all tasty, cook everything inside. And we'll have these beautiful little uh, crunchy snacks to eat that are full of protein and spicy things. And on top of that, we are doing these. We've got chipotles and uh, they're in like an adobo sauce. So we're gonna mix this up with some sour cream and make a dipping sauce to go with it. And that is all going down right now. Without a doubt, my favorite meal out there is fresh caught walleye. And to be able to share that experience on the ice with my buddies and to try a new recipe by my buddy Josh McFadden was absolutely amazing. Cream cheese, bacon, jalapeno peppers, deep fried and wontons, amazing. What a cap to such a good day. Marshall. <laughs> so good. Unbelievable. Yeah, you had one? Oh yeah. That's alright. You know the best part? That every bite you get something a little different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like one bite's it. a little bit more cream cheese, a little bit a little more jalapeno, a little more bacon. I'm so glad you could come cook for us. I mean fish with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eating fish on the ice is just the best. Kind of helps fill out the lull in the middle of the day. Uh, hopefully we get a night bite, pick it up again. Regardless, we got what we needed for a nice meal. Oh yeah, sauce me. Don't forget the sweet chili sauce. Just, yes, oh yeah. yeah. You almost poured it on my face. I know, well, I was. All right guys, it is, uh, it's getting into that magic time of the day. Do you know what time of day that is, Keevan? Prime time. Prime time. We moved a little shallower. Things got a little quiet there after dinner. Well, a little bit of a lull, but another chunky Lake Manitoba walleye. Going back, unless you guys are keeping any? No. No, Josh? Put back. Put back. This one's going back? He's lucky today. This would be a perfect eating size. So there's a couple things I've learned during my first time ice fishing Lake Manitoba. For one, there's like no pressure out here. It's just us and some commercial fishermen. Yeah, that, that's the beauty of it. It's not it's not as populated as like Winnipeg. You can get a little more out on your own. And this is just within walking. If we had ATVs or snowmobiles, we could get so far off the beaten path. It's, it's only an hour from Winnipeg. It's it's like less than an hour from the perimeter. So if you're looking for a quick little day trip, awesome, awesome option. Angry walleyes in shallow water. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.